My name is Chen Shilo. I do the parts about uh, Platon and expand function. Hello, everyone. My name is Tifan Huang. In the assignment, I'm mainly responsible to write the function in order to embedding and recovering images. Also, I'm mainly responsible for editing the videos. Um, my name is Wendy, and my role for my group is to re create the GUI, which is the graphical user interface. To create the GUI, we need to set push buttons. Uh, we, we need to create push buttons for each of the functions we wrote. So, for example, for the first push button, which is to load the original image, um, we need to first use the access functions to cre create the access for this handle that we create for the push buttons, and then we need to show the image that we want to um, show, um, and then use set up data functions to um, make the image available to other handles to use. And then for the, uh, the same ideas apply to other low image um, push buttons. For the embed method push buttons and the recovery method push buttons, we need to first use the access function to create access that is available to um, the handles. And then we use um, get app data functions to get all the images that we want from other handles to this handles and then we um, apply the, me uh, the method we wrote which is the loop um, to, into the functions and then at the end we use set up data to set the images that we create in this handle available to other images and um, if you uh, if you want to see the detail of each push button functions you can right click on the push button's name and click on the callback function. First of all, we will introduce our functions in part 1. In the flatten function, the threshold for dark or light is set to be 128. For the input image, we set numbers that are larger than 128 to be 0 and we set other numbers to be 1. Now we create a matrix with values 1 if the corresponding head image pixel is dark and 0 if the pixel is light. In the expand function, if the numbers are 1, they will set to be 0 in the RBG image which is white. If the numbers are 0, we will set them to be 225 in the RBG image which is black. Now we create a new RG image with black pixel for 1 element and white pixel for element. So now I'm going to introduce you about the embedding and recovery techniques used. Inspired by the documents that the teacher provide us, we decided to embedding the um, picture um, depends on the digit, whether it is odd or even. For example, here, um, if it is uh, odd and we want it to be odd to represent Mm, black or white, we just uh, leave it there. But if it is not what we want, it simply minus one. And in the inverse way, we are going to recover the image simply by mm, put it back in um, to determine the auto even and put it back in black and white. And now I'm going to show you the real layout of our GUI.